What's shaking fire nation? JLD here, and I have a pretty cool audio masterclass because I have Jillian Michaels rocking the mic today, and she's going to talk about how we can turn our passion into a true sustainable business. Now, if you don't know who Jillian Michaels is, well, she's a world leading health and fitness expert, renowned nutritionist, and wellness entrepreneur. She's also a best selling author, creator of the award winning My Fitness by Jillian Michaels app, host of the top podcast, The Jillian Michaels Show, and co founder of Empowered Media. Jillian is a fierce advocate for refugees and works with UNHCR, the Unrefugee Agency, to bring awareness to the global refugee crisis. And Fire Nation, we're going to be diving into so much greatness as soon as we get back from thinking our sponsor. Getting your sales copy and funnels just right can be difficult, but with ClickFunnels' new One Funnel Away Challenge, you can have everything up, running, and optimized in just 30 days. Join the next One Funnel Away Challenge for just $100 at eofire.com slash funnel. That's eofire.com slash funnel. Growing businesses need qualified candidates, and qualified candidates can be a challenge to find. Lucky for us, Zip Recruiter makes it simple, fast, and smart. And right now, you can try Zip Recruiter for free at ziprecruiter.com slash fire. That's ziprecruiter.com slash fire. Zip Recruiter, the smartest way to hire. Jillian, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something interesting about yourself that most people don't know. Okay, let's see. Hi, Fire Nation. Uh, Jillian Michaels here joining the show today. Super excited. Um, Something people don't know. I could throw axes. (laughs) (laughs) I'm actually surprisingly good at it. I like there's a there's a now that it's a thing. I, uh, I, I have done it a few times and I'm pretty, it's a gift actually. I'm thinking of a career change. So I know that, you know, I'm from Puerto Rico or I live in Puerto Rico now, but I'm from Maine originally. So two years ago I went back to visit and a new CrossFit gym opened. I went there and they were throwing axes. I kid you not. I picked one up. My first throw was literally bullseye. I should have walked away because my, my next 20 throws didn't oh, I- even stick to the target. Always walk away a winner, babe. Dang. Always walk away a winner. Next time I've learned my lesson. Yep. But Jillian, <laughs> I have told Fire Nation all about you in the amazing introduction that your team sent over. So, you know, we're all big fans. We love what you have going on. But one thing that you've done that's super cool is you've been able to take something you're passionate about and turn it into a career, a sustainable business. Now, Fire Nation's heard about the importance of being passionate about what you do, but How realistic is it for our listeners, Fire Nation, to actually turn their passions into a sustainable career? When you do what you love, right, and you you pursue what you're passionate about and what's authentic to you, that the sky's the limit. I've found time and time again that the more security people seek, the less they have. So, I mean, I could tell you a million friends who took the, you know, I should job, right? Like, A million trainers that thought, all right, you know, that I was coming up with, I need to be responsible. I need, I need a a grown up job, got into real estate. The market fell out of real estate in 2008 or whenever it was. And the people that weren't truly passionate about it got weeded out. Um, But when you look at people who do what they love, like Cesar Milan is a guy who really loves dogs. You know, (laughs) Mrs. Fields was a woman who really liked baking cookies Martha Stewart. Oh, I'm so sorry. I happen to have dogs here. Um, I think I think that the dog heard you say the word dog. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, she's like me, dog. I worked with Caesar. Um, <laughs> oh, seven. Stop. I'm on a call. Quit it. Uh, but I, again, I mean, it's like if you look at look at people who are extremely successful, I would simply say, you know, again, me, right? A, a kid that liked to do lunges. If you do what you love, and then you study business and various business models, it's, it's not, I don't want to say it's easy, but it's very straightforward. If you can grind and you can put in the time to build a career doing what you love. I mean, this isn't an exact quote. I don't even know who to reference it to, but there's a phrase I've heard out there so often that you can fail at doing something you hate. 
So why not actually do something you love? Because you might fail at that too, but at least you're failing at something that you love doing. And guess what? You're going to pick yourself back up off the mat if you love real estate and the 2008 recession happens. And then guess what? You're going to be in this great situation because that weeded out all the people that didn't love it. And now you're one of the 10, 20, 30% of people in real estate who are still doing that thing in a much more open field. So we learn from failures. We learn from mistakes. I mean, let's be honest, Jillian, you're close to perfect, but you're not 100% perfect. So give oh, us a couple of mistakes that you made oh while you were building God. Empowered Media. I got to be honest, John, like, I don't think there's enough time in this year <laughs> for me to list all of the mistakes I've made and all of the failures I've had. Um, oh, God. And they are really numerous. Uh, I mean... I'll give you, I'll give you a perfect one. Sweet. So we, for years, I'm a big supplement person and a decade ago, the supplement world looked very different than it does now. So pre-workouts were called fat burners. And as a kid, I tried everything. I mean, the good, the bad, you know, the ugly, the worthless. And I wrote a book called Making the Cut. It was a bestseller. And I talked all about different supplements, like what's dangerous, what helps, what doesn't. And I said, oh, I really want to do a supplement line. So we did a line of fat burners. The worst mistake I could have ever made. And the, the problem is I ended up getting into a deal with a company that really didn't have any interest in kind of my messaging and kind of rode over me and like, Oh, we already printed the bottles. Sorry about your approvals. And I lost complete control of the product. It was a, it was a disaster, even though they were totally organic, all clean with like green tea and freaking Gouda Cola and like vitamin C. It doesn't matter. It was an absolute mm. branding disaster. Um, and it's like one of the biggest mistakes of my career because it cost me even though I talked about it and written about it and the product was everything I said, it didn't matter. It was just a friggin' disaster. It was a branding nightmare for me. Huge mistake. And there are so many of those shows that didn't get picked up, like just bad legal advice. I could go on for days and it, you're right. The goal is to, to learn from it and reapproach the next challenge more intelligently. So I love that because there's so much to learn from that specifically, but what would you have done differently? Like looking back, what would you have done differently? Maybe not even that specific scenario of the supplement line, but just overall, like in all those mistakes, like what should have been the process? Oh my God. The, the truth of the matter is that we, we really did do everything right. They just didn't care. So they were such a huge, massive, multi-billion dollar corporation that I, I had the approvals in my contract. They just didn't care. And they were like, go ahead, sue us. And so the lesson there that I learned in business, and this is really sad, but this is the reality of life, is that business is modern day warfare, in my opinion. And as jaded as that sounds, as cynical as it may sound, I go in, into every opportunity looking at where I'm going to get screwed over. And I, I mean, I play it out like a game of chess. I'm like, okay, you know, it, like there's a perfect example. There's a company um, with a fitness app and it's a tech company. They have a ton of money, right? Ton of money to market the company. They came to us and they said, look, we really want Jillian to be a part of our project. Um, you know, we'll give you guys 10% of the company, me and my business partner. And I looked at it every which way. And I said to my business partner, I was like, here's the thing. We have the Jillian Michaels app. If we do this, you know, they have more money to market. They're going to use my name to market. And even though we own 10%, 10% of that versus hundred percent of our app. And you know, it's why would they want our app to succeed? And they're really good people. They were like, we would never do that. And I was like, yeah, but I can't take the chance. And I passed on the deal. So it's because the reality is they have so much money that, that it's kind of like looking at what the first world does to the developing world, right? They're like, they rape, they pillage, they plunder, they take all the resources and they screw you over. And they're like, yeah, come sue me. Cause they know how much it's going to cost you. So now when I look at deals where even if we do them right, even if we do everything perfectly, but there are too many ways to get hurt. If they, if they potentially have conflicting interests, I don't engage. And with this one, I was like, there's a conflicting interest. Why would they want my app to succeed? There's going to be, you know, confusion in the marketplace and it's just not worth the upside. 
with the potential downside. So I look at every single deal and all the ways it can go wrong. And I just think to myself, you know what? Pigs get fat, but hogs get slaughtered. <laughs> I'm, you know what I mean? My app, I make a good living. I love what I do. And I don't need to take the risk with somebody who has way more money and way more experience in tech and like, you know, who's lawyers for days on, you know, on salary. It's like, yeah, pass. I just don't take the risk. I'm more risk averse. Jillian, I didn't know this about you, but you are the queen of one-liners. And I'm not going to lie, I have to repeat a couple of them for Fire Nation because they're just so classic. Number one, business is modern day warfare. Fire Aye. Nation, business is modern day warfare. And this is coming from a military veteran right here. And I can tell you being in business now for seven years with Entrepreneurs on Fire, 2,200 episodes, 75 million listens of the show. Like this is modern day warfare. I was in Iraq for 13 months. That was warfare. This is warfare. And that's the, oppor- that's the situation you've got to look at, Fire Nation. And Jillian, when you said that you go into every opportunity saying, where am I going to get screwed over? I was like, yes, you know, that, that in some way sounds like a sad way to look at life, but in the other way, it's like that's the way you have to look at business life because that's what is out there. And again, I got to keep going, Jillian, because you just crushed this. What do the people in power do? They rape, they pillage, they plunder. Fire Nation, truth <laughs> bomb. And last but not least, pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. <laughs> I mean, it's so. I'm telling true. you, man, I'm sorry to say, like, it's. It's a very jaded way to look at things. And, you know, I find that millennials are very full of hope and they love to be optimistic and positive. But, you know, that's a real dangerous game to play. And so I'm not asking you, you know, to be bitter because Gen X tends to be a bit more bitter. But I am asking you to be realistic. And it's like, hey, you got to play every scenario out. And if you can't handle each and every one of them, you don't engage. You just don't. You, it's like live to fight another day. So when there are, you know, there are so many fights I barely survived. And it's now I just look at it and I'm like, it's not worth it. Living to fight another day. And, you know, the reality is that if you play out every scenario and there is a scenario in there that you will not be able to survive as a business, do not go down that path. Do not take the risk. I I have been doing this now as a public figure for 15 years, and I cannot tell you how many times, how many times I get screwed over. And and it's like, if I know that it's a foe I can't beat, I don't engage anymore. Jillian, this is not a jaded way to look at things. It is 100% real. I mean, what you need to understand, Fire Nation, is we're human beings. I'm a human being. Julie's a human being. As, as, as great a people as you might think we are, we're looking out for number one. You're looking out for number one, Fire Nation. Human beings are looking out for number one. That is at the core. That is innate. No matter how nice Mother Teresa is, and she was a sweetheart, believe me. I didn't meet her in person, but I'm sure she was a sweetheart. She's looking <laughs> out for number one, period, end of story. That's what it is. So you just got to realize, Fire Nation, Come at every scenario eyes wide open. Now, Jillian, something that you've really been able to weather a lot of storms with is because you built a great team. Talk about the importance of building the right team. Well, that's really where you have to kind of put your ego aside because, you know, we're we're good at some things. We're not good at others. And again, right, we're human, just like you said. So we're going to have we're going to have strong points and we're going to have weak points. And for me, I mean, I'm, I'm great at fitness. I'm great at understanding nutrition. I'm really good at disseminating health information from other experts and, you know, making it kind of accessible and affordable and relatable. I am not inherently a business person. I've been forced to become one <laughs> over the years, but it, it isn't, um, I'm not wired that way. And, you know, years ago when I thought, all right, I, I love what I do, I, how do I turn this into a sustainable business? I started to look at other people who'd done the same and I studied them, whether it was a Martha Stewart, an Oprah Winfrey, a Susie Orman, a Rachel Ray. And I thought, all right, all of these people have a business partner. And they really did. Oprah did. All of them did. Somebody who helped them grow their brand, who understood branding. And my first move was to find that person. And we're still business partners 15 years later. And that's my business partner, Giancarlo Chersich. And he has taught me so much. And now I think I, you know, I would say I have 
a decent understanding. I mean, he, he still looks at things very differently than me um, and can open my eyes to many different opportunities in the way that he does business. But that was my first move. And then from there, you know, you build a company based on, all right, who's going to understand social media? Who's going to understand branding and, you know, creating a really sexy, modern, cool aesthetic all of these things, like, I don't, that's not what I do. You know, I have a graphic designer and, you know, a person who manages the look of our brand. And then she sits down with me and gives me options, but I don't sit there and go, you know what, let me design our app logo. Cause I don't know anything about it. Right. I don't know anything about tech. I have a tech guy on staff that teaches me all about you know, being user friendly and this, that, the other, and how to turn our content into something that's easier for people to do on their tablets. And, you really just have to look at, all right, this is my core competency. What don't I know about the business I want to go into? And with that said, there's going to be things that you you aren't aware of. They're going to come up along the way. And it's like it might make a little bit of mess, but don't try to do it yourself. Get an expert in there and learn it. That's the best thing you can do. So God forbid something goes wrong. You know what to look for the next time when hiring your next person. Fire Nation, straight value bombs and more are coming up, including one of the most unexpected challenges Jillian faced while running her business as soon as we get back from thanking our sponsor. There are a lot of challenges we face as entrepreneurs, like finding the right hires. Lucky for us and for Jesse Cole, Zip Recruiter makes hiring simple, fast, and smart. Jesse is the owner of the Savannah Bananas, a minor league baseball team. He was looking for a director of fun, someone to lead the Bananas fan experience, videography team, community outreach, and entertain a packed stadium. Jesse knew it wouldn't be easy to find that kind of talent. That's why he tried Zip Recruiter. Zip Recruiter's a ability to send his job to over 100 job boards made his nationwide search fast, easy, and effective. Jesse says, as we continue to grow, for every hire, we'll go to ZipRecruiter. It was so unbelievably easy to use. And Jesse isn't alone. Four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site within the first day. And right now, you too can find the perfect candidates by trying ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. That's ZipRecruiter dot com slash fire once again zip recruiter dot com slash fire zip recruiter the smartest way to hire Online funnels can be intimidating. They require setup and technical aspects you might not be familiar with. But what if I told you that you can build an online funnel from scratch and get it live in just 30 days? With the One Funnel Away Challenge from ClickFunnels, you really are just 30 days away from getting your funnel live. Here's how it works. Join the next One Funnel Away Challenge at eofire.com slash funnel. Every day you'll receive a mission to complete, each mission being a step in the process of creating, building, and launching your funnel. Get ready to rock your funnel with a trifecta training approach, daily training, live coaching, and accountability from day one through day 30. Complete the task given to you every day for 30 days, and by the end of the 30 days, you should have a funnel that is live and ready to generate leads and sales. Join the next One Funnel Away Challenge for just $100 at eofire.com slash funnel and get daily training, live coaching, and accountability from day one through day 30. That's eofire.com slash funnel. So Jillian, we're back and you faced a lot of expected challenges on your road. I mean, things that you expected to be challenging and obstacles, you faced those. But what was one of the most unexpected challenges you faced while running your business? extremely poor legal advice. Uh, uh, oh my God, the wrong lawsuit, <laughs> it will destroy you. And unfortunately, the more successful you become, the bigger of a target you're going to have on your back, right? And I think a lot of us feel, and as much as we're talking, we just you know spoke about getting experts that know what we don't know. You still have to be proactive in er every area of your business. Um, oh God. So I, I had, I'm just trying to figure out if this case is even, is even sealed or not. I don't, I don't think it is, but there was a lawyer that sent me, you know, cause I thought like, I can't read this, right? Like you get these contracts that totally. are like ridiculous, 50, 60 pages. And I was like, well, I have a great lawyer. Like, I don't need to read this. 
to right sign on the dotted line. He told me how much money I was going to make. He told me the services that I needed to deliver. I was, you know, perfect. Sounds like a great deal. To make a very long story short, very big company, right? Decided they didn't want to pay me. And at that time, Biggest Loser, when I was on Biggest Loser, they had the right to approve television commercials. Well, Biggest Loser did not uh, deny that that my business, the other partner that I was uh, doing business with, run a commercial, but they decided they didn't want to pay me. They'd gotten all their services and they turned around and they said, hey, you know what? It was never disclosed to us that we had to get our commercials approved by NBC. So we never would have gotten this deal. So Jillian committed fraud. She induced us fraudulently when she signed this deal. Holy can I say that on your yeah, like totally. It was such a disaster. It cost me millions, millions of dollars in legal fees. And you know what? I didn't even know that my lawyer hadn't disclosed it. To this day, I don't know why he didn't disclose it. I literally have no idea. None to this day. And now my business partner and I sit down and we go through every freaking page of the contract. And the, the lawyer was like, oh, your biggest loser renegotiation wasn't done yet. That's why I didn't disclose it. And to make a long story short, the deals were signed like within a day of each other. So we thought maybe he forgot it. He missed it. I don't know. But a move, someone else's mistake can destroy your life. Destroy your life. You have to be proactive in every single piece of your business. So you don't want to micromanage, but you also don't want to be like, well, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know. I hired a great lawyer, so hands off. No, you need to be checking in on everything regularly to make sure that things are on the right path. And then before you sign anything, before you put your name on anything, then you sit down and you go through it with a fine tooth comb to make sure that all the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed. Because I guarantee you it will be some legal disaster that ruins your life. Fire Nation, surround yourself with amazing people who know what the heck they're doing. But at the end of the day, please take Jillian's story to heart here. You are your best advocate. You are your best advocate. You are the finish line for everything that has to do with your life, with your business. Now, Jillian, it sounds like you've kind of progressed in life to really be able to be in tune with your intuition, to really listen to your gut. Does that matter, listening to your gut? Oh my God, so much. If I could tell you how many times I look back on something and think, I knew it. Uh, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, right? And you you don't want to be difficult. So it's a woman thing, I think, in particular, because like, they're like, oh, she's such a, oh, she's so difficult. Whereas with guys, it's a little bit different. It's like, oh, he's assertive, he's aggressive, okay. But with women, it's like, oh, she's difficult, she's a And so you, you know, you kind of bite your tongue even though you're thinking like, oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, this is a bad idea. And I'm going to tell you right now, when it fails, for all the reasons you knew it was going to, those people don't ever want to work with you again anyway. Because what is it like? Success has a million fathers and failure as an yeah. orphan. I mean, a perfect example would be a show we did on Spike called Sweat Inc. And as it was going on, I was like, oh, this is a disaster. They're doing all these things wrong. This doesn't make sense. And I was like, guys, you know, this isn't, this is scattered. This doesn't make sense. Let me cut in, Jillian. What's like oh, one yeah. or one or two things that they were doing? You're just like, oh man, this is just not the way to do it. They were trying to tell like 10 different stories and it was very unclear what the show was actually about. So it's like on one hand, it was about fitness entrepreneurs, but then on the other hand, they had people trying to lose weight and it, it was like, it just, the show didn't know what it was. And I was trying to say like, Hey, You've got to streamline this story. You've got to nail down the beats for the format of the show. And they you know, wouldn't listen. They're executive producers. They've made a million shows. This one's the head of the network. They know best. And of course, the show tanked for all the reasons I said it would. And I didn't work with them again because it's bad blood, right? Nobody wants to repeat a failure. But I wonder, had I been more difficult, had I been more forceful, had I been able to actually fix the show and the show works, like it doesn't really matter if they like me or not because the show works. So you're going to keep working together. If that makes any sense. 
It makes a lot of sense because Fire Nation, at the end of the day, like Jillian had the experience. She knew what needed to be done. I mean, you know, she's not always going to be right. She's not always going to be wrong. But, you know, you need to be working in an environment where you feel right. Your causes are aligned. Your intuition says, you know what, this feels good. Because guess what? Things are not going to work out when your intuition feels good about it. But you're going to then not work out in something that you actually feel good about. And that's not so bad of a thing. And Amongst many, many things, Jillian, that I admire about you, you've consistently evolved over the years. I mean, an example would be, you know, back in your DVD workouts. Like, I mean, obviously, I don't even know when the last time I saw a DVD player is, but you transitioned way early, cutting edge to the digital app. I mean, you started a podcast, which, of course, I love because, you know, I was one of those very early trenders with podcasting as well. And, And you were able to build a huge audience with a huge voice through that. How did you know that evolving was so important, these different stages in your life? It's human nature, right? It's, it's the way literally that, our, <laughs> that life works on this planet. It's like evolve or die. Um, and business is the exact same. What I will say, someone said this to me recently, so I'm not quite sure how accurate it is, but she said, you know, the industrial revolution happened over 100 plus years. The tech revolution happened over 10 So, so many of us are not really being given a standard amount of time to adapt, grow, and evolve, right? Businesses are falling apart underneath our feet. Publishing, disaster. I mean, Self Magazine, gone. Like, it just wiped off the face of the planet. This magazine, Cosmos in trouble. They're all in trouble. They're all going away. Entire industries. Nobody watches cable TV anymore. Nobody. They might still watch the same content, but now they're streaming it on things like Hulu or Netflix or Amazon. So it's happening so fast that if you are not like looking a hundred miles in, you know, so far into the future, you will get left behind. And I think I always knew like, all right, we got to be ahead of the game. Now with that said, there's a golden rule to this. And I, I firmly believe in that whole fast follower concept of watching somebody cut their teeth on a business. For example, we got into video gaming and the technology wasn't there. So it did really well, but the technology wasn't there. So people weren't happy with the product. It was a Wii video game. And then people watched us and we approached the space in a different way when the technology was there and they were more successful. So now we kind of sit back for a second. We look at different things that are kind of up and coming that are emerging. And instead of being the first in the space and making a mess of things, we watch other people fail, learn from their failures, and then go into the space early, but not first, if that makes any sense. It makes a lot of sense in Fire Nation. Going through some of those processes that Jillian was talking about, blockbuster, gone. TV commercials, the value, it's gone. Who watches a TV commercial now? You have a phone in your hand, gone. Toys R Us, gone. Circus City, gone. I mean, there are all these companies who refuse to reinvent themselves. And these are co- these are recent companies that most of you people listening right now have been in these stores. I remember renting from Blockbuster, like it seems like a few years ago. I mean, it's crazy how fast these billion dollar companies literally shrivel up and die because of the world that we live in. It's it's so quickly evolving. And if you're not staying on the cutting edge, like you're you're ancient, you're absolute history. So Jillian, we've gone through a lot of cool stuff today. I mean, you've been very generous with your time. I want to kind of hand the mic over to you just as a last thing here for you to maybe just share something you really want to make sure our listeners that are entrepreneurs, that are small business owners, what do you really want them to understand about where they are today moving forward and how maybe they can learn from your knowledge and what you have going on? And then plus, you know, we want to know where we can follow you, what you have going on, how we can support that as a thank you for being on the show. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, I, I mean, we did cover a lot of it, but I would say, look, you're I believe you're here for a reason, and that reason is to contribute your passion, your personality, and your authenticity to the world, right? Some people are going to love you. Some people are going to hate you. But either way, if you're being authentically you, you're moving them, and you're making them think, and you're making them evolve, and you're making them grow. Um, The second thing would be you're going to have, oh, my God, massive, enormous, devastating failures. And any multimillionaire 
billionaire, extremely successful business individual that I've ever had the opportunity to speak to personally has always told me some story of bankruptcy or financial devastation. And they do exactly what you said. They pick themselves up, they learn from it, they reapproach more intelligently, and it's persistence, passion, and patience, right? And if you stick with that, success in a large part is a matter of attrition, right? So you got to stay with it and you'll live to fight another day. And that's the key. I mean, I've had so many devastating failures, setbacks, screw ups, but yet I've lived to fight another day and I continue every day to wake up and do business and some of it works and some of it doesn't, but I win more than I lose now. And that's enough. Fire Nation, live your passion. And when you do that, listen, people are going to love you. People are going to hate you. But Jillian, what do you think about this quote? Love me or hate me because there's no money in the middle. God, that's so true. I will say for me, it's true. I do think that there are a lot of people that are very diplomatic out there that are successful. Um, You know, everybody loves Michael Jordan. He has one of the highest Q scores, which is like a popularity score, one of the highest in the world. I mean, everybody loves Tom Hanks. Everybody loves Oprah. But I still don't think, you know, you could look for exceptions to the rule you just mentioned, but I don't think then that you're being authentically yourself. Um, And, you know, for me, you know, Bob Harper, the guy that I worked with on Biggest Loser was always very kind of diplomatic right down the middle, never really took a stand on anything. One day he was vegan, the next day he's paleo, no cares. <laughs> no and he cares. Made a- You'll never be an entrepreneur's on fire. Never. Care. The guy was a yogi and then he was into CrossFit and nobody cares. He's like, I do this, I do that. I don't know. I like it all. It's all fine. It's all whatever. And nobody cares. For me, you know, I've always been very consistent with my message, very opinionated, you know, the polar opposite. And I'm also successful. So to me, I think you, you just no matter what, you have to stay true to your heart because you can be successful both ways. But will you be happy both ways? Wow. That's a great kind of final phrase on this part of it. But Jillian, Empowered Media, The Jillian Michael Show, which Fire Nation is a killer podcast. You're listening to a podcast right now. Listen to her strong opinions. Listen to her passion. Don't you want more of that? Check out the podcast. Jillian, what else do you have going on that we can support? For me, it's all about my app. I, the, my app, basically, it's called My Fitness, and it has hundreds of recipes, personalized meal planner, personalized workout programs. It essentially allows me to be your personal trainer. And digital is really where it's at. It's the best way to utilize technology to help people in my space. So that's that's what I'm very focused on nowadays is, is my app and it's called My Fitness. My Fitness. And Jillian, I'm not sure if you just saw the keynotes of Apple that just happened very, very recently, like a day or two ago. But they, speaking of being cutting edge, just released an opportunity for people who have apps in the app store to now just make a solo app just for the Apple Watch. So that might be something to think about to make a My Fitness only for the watch to kind of get on that cutting edge thing there. Just a thought. But you are amazing, Jillian, for sharing your time, your energy, your effort, because Fire Nation knows this. They're the average of the five people they spend the most time with. You've been hanging out with JM and JLD today. So keep up the heat, Fire Nation, and head over to my fitness app, to the Jillian Michaels Show, the podcast, and just give her love, give her support. And Jillian, I want to say thank you for sharing your truth with my audience today. For that, we salute you, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry about the dogs and everything. (laughs) (laughs) You are awesome. Till the next time. Hey, Fire Nation, today's value bomb content was brought to you by Jillian Michaels. And if you had your big idea, you'd be ready to ignite. So take my free course and it'll get you to your big idea in less than an hour. All you got to do is visit yourbigidea.io and you'll be to start this free course, get your big idea in 60 minutes and be off to the races. I'll catch you there, Fire Nation, or I'll catch you on the flip side. Getting your sales copy and funnels just right can be difficult, but with ClickFunnels' new One Funnel Away Challenge, you can have everything up, running, and optimized in just 30 days. Join the next One Funnel Away Challenge for just $100 at eofire.com slash funnel. That's eofire.com slash funnel. Looking for a place you can go where hiring is simple, fast, and smart? 
That place is ZipRecruiter. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire.